Hello, friends, and welcome to the Cinemondo podcast with, with Kathy and Mark. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment. That's what we yes. want. Subscribe yes. so you don't miss anything because we have so much stuff coming out right now. Yes. Yes. It's just oh, and check out stuff. my other podcast. I have a music right. podcast that Burke you should doesn't just out. like movies, he knows so much about music. Definitely check that out. What's it called, Burke? He thinks he knows about, about music. <laughs> it's called, um, what is it called? Confusing, ambiguous, confusing and ambiguous, because that's what talking about music always turns out to be. That's true. Like, that why do you true. like that song? Explain to me why you like that band and you will not be able to. Burke does a good job. It's a, uh, I yes. watch all of them. They're really good. So, um, oh, thank uh, you. Please check it out. Yeah. But we're awesome. going to talk about Ty West's uh, latest film, Ty West, who is a really interesting kind of low budget horror director. I love uh, X. Yeah, he did X and Pearl was the sequel. Um, actually, it's a you talking about Pearl. Pearl. Yeah, Pearl. and starring Mia Goth, who's great. I and, love her. Oh my gosh, she's, she's like the new screen queen. She's awesome. She's fantastic. She's and, great in uh, Infinity Pool. Oh, fantastic. She's such a good oh. actress. And X is like a, a down and dirty, you know, almost feels like a, you know, classic, you know, exploitation oh. flick from the 70s. 70s. Uh, I Very love the idea of the 70s porn industry incorporated yes. into a horror film yeah mm. it's like texas chainsaw massacre then he does pearl okay. which is a douglas cirque if you're familiar with that director he these big glossy very so colorful great. 50s soap operas starring I rock Hudson. He, he does it in this really with this in the, this horror film i loved it i thought the music everything was just spot on perfect well i like uh, it too because the time makes a difference because he said it 70s in a 70s style and then he's going back on like a prequel to 50s, x back to 50, 50s so he made it in a 50s style i think that's super smart so i'm very I, interested in seeing what this is yeah and this the is just a frame, teaser so, yeah so we'll see what it is but uh, let's check it out the teaser for maxine that's with three x's so that gives you a clue i think all right let's check it out maxine right. okay are we ready ready let's do it and Oh, it's promising so far. <laughs> Looks like our intro. Oh, 85. Oh, the 80s. Oh, my God. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect music for LA. Yep. Uh, it doesn't say Hollywood. <laughs> it's this next scene. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> 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 it's very clean oh my god it's brand new <laughs> when they fixed it up oh my god so the pink yeah <laughs> you know what's so great about that they didn't show us anything but we got so much information from that we know that this movie is set in LA we know it's 1985 <laughs> we know it's got probably hardcore porn industry that's what I'm assuming yeah <laughs> He picked the right song and you know and emotions uh, obsession and oh my uh, god so good it's just you know yeah I think he knows you know he knows the time periods that's for sure so it was you know what 70s it is? and 50s and now 80s which is cool you know what's interesting there's a thing there's a thing that is a phenomenon that I've followed and that is interesting there's a um vaporware vaporwave kind of a, a vibe yes yeah. it's, it's got the vibe of that 80s nostalgia for something that never existed and yeah right because we were there i was there you guys are it's before your time but i was i was actually alive in the 80s and i was, you know, I was <laughs> but no the um the 80s were not like what what a lot of the i mean when you listen to the music that's supposed to be retro not you know not old music but music that's made now that's supposed to bring that vibe of the 80s yeah and it does it, yeah it kind of doesn't though it does in a way but it brings it style it brings it in a way that is not like the way it really was which is cool because it's it is a nostalgia for a future that the 80s was predict predicting that never mm -hmm. came to pass yeah. you know that sort of bright sparkly you know logos and and shoulder pads and giant hair and all that kind of stuff it's like yeah. it wasn't the entirety of the 80s <laughs> 
that's true. Right. Of course not. But I think if you're going to go, okay, what's the eighties look like if we're going to set the film, you know, in yeah. LA, there is going to be that moment of the big shoulder pads and the, you know, that kind of stuff. Right. And, that kind of uh, dancing. <laughs> yeah. And I think this film, my guess is he's going to sort of film it in that sort of eighties way. Eighties films yeah. have yeah. a look, you know, I think. Yeah. I mean, a shot on film. You know, right. again, but a little bit maybe higher res, maybe looking because it looked a little smoother because it wasn't quite as old. It looked like it's VHS bit, to me. Ah, yeah, it looked VHS. You're right. That's what it is. It has that little, zzz, you know. Yeah. Zzz. Maybe that'll yeah. that will be make it cool if it's like a video. That would be very cool. Yeah. It started but, with uh, a play, you know, like yeah, yeah. that's very cool. But kind of like our intros. I know it's. Oh my off. god! We'll have to talk they to Ty West off. about that. That's right. Maybe get some money out Ty of that. West. Um, yeah. Do him. <laughs> But uh, I'm excited for it because I liked his first two films. I think he's an interesting filmmaker. Yeah. And he, he knows horror. He knows how to make it. He knows how to bring it. it and I like his whole up. conceptual trilogy idea of doing the times in the style of the time it's set. And that's, right. that's a really cool concept no one's really done before. So I love that. Yeah. I like right. something, something new sure. in horror. Something new for sure. Not mm -hmm. sure when this is coming out. This is an early you know, teaser, but uh, or even though it's like a promo almost. So Yeah, um, it's very teasery. Yeah. yeah, so we'll check it out. But Maxine, we'll, we'll, I'm sure when there's a teaser or a trailer comes out, we'll be uh, watching that and commenting yeah, on it. I don't imagine that was it, that is a shot from the film. Oh uh, well, um, listen, Maxine, Maxine looks good, um, looks interesting. Looks, bring it up. I mean, I can't tell much from the trailer from yeah. the teaser, yeah. but I, I I like the fact that he's pushing a style there that yeah, looks like cool. I'd be. I, I'd love to go back to the '80s in Los Angeles love and it. hang out for a little while. It'd be so wild yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, people, take Thank care. You. See you Bye. soon. Bye. Bye.